Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the software engineer, and today we're going to be talking about Git Remote. So sit back and let the knowledge flow in because SE Geek begins now. Okay, let's talk about Git Remote. Uh, I mentioned this in a previous episode and hadn't really used it all that much, uh, but now that I have used uh, GitHub a lot more uh, at work, I really understand what it is, and all Git Remote really is um, is an alias to uh, another Git repository that you can uh, pull from, fetch from, and maybe even push to. So let's just start out here and go... Um, we're in our Grails uh, repository. We'll just take a look at that. And you can see there's files here. No big deal. And what we'll do is we'll do a get remote. And we'll do dash V just for remote, verbose output. And you can see here that we have one remote for fetching and pushing. Now, by default, whenever you clone a repository, you get the origin uh, remote, which is what this is right here. So we clone this using the Git protocol from this IP address. Um, however, I set that up. So, you know, that's useful, but what if you want to pull from actually, say, the main Grails repository? So we'll go over here to GitHub and see we have this GitHub page, and over here you can see these are the remotes. Now you can use SSH, which, you know, with this particular uh, uh, repository, we only have read access. So, you know, all we'll be able to do with any of these is get read access. But you copy that, and then we go over here, and then we're going to do a get remote. We're going to add, we're going to call it central. And then we're going to paste, um, actually, I'll just paste that in there, and then hit enter. Now if we do get remote-v, you'll see that we now have two remotes. We have origin and central. Now, it says push, but since, you know, this is a read-only access uh, that's given to us, if we try to push, we'll obviously fail but we can do a get fetch central now and it'll fetch well you have to do the key apparently I put a key on that on the lock so we're not going to do that right now but you get the idea um, basically it's just an alias nothing special but it'll make your workflow a little easier cause, so you won't have to remember the whole repository, which is kind of what I promoted before, just putting in the whole repository to be explicit, which can be good. But, you know, if you have a name that's explicit, like, you know, origin and uh, central, then, you know, those things will be a little bit easy for you. So that's all for now. I'll see you later.